So we've just opened our first egg sack of the season. We're very excited. We actually have 10 egg sacks in captivity at the moment. More should be coming in over the coming months. And all of the young from that will be raised up for our anti-venom program in the future. So the reptile parks never really bred a lot of funnel webs in captivity. We've relied heavily on public involvement and capturing and, and dropping them off to our collection points. But we've, the last couple of years, we've actually started to breed funnel webs here in captivity. So yeah, it's very special that we've got them uh, laying in captive conditions. So the Reptile Park, we're very proud. We're the sole provider of funnel web venom to make anti-venom for all funnel web spider bites across Australia. These new babies that are coming in, eventually in a few years time, we'll be able to uh, extract venom from them to go help saving lives. Not a lot is known about raising funnel webs in captivity from juveniles right through to mature. So what we're doing is lots of different experiments. So having these high numbers of babies come into the program is really helpful for us to work out exactly the best way to keep them to get the most of them to maturity. Even though we have uh, close to 3,000 funnel webs here at the reptile park at the moment, it's only a small percentage of those we can actually use for venom extraction. That's the male mature funnel webs. So the rest of them we have to raise up and one day hopefully if they are a mature male we can then start extracting. So we really need the public to continue to hand in male funnel webs if they find them around home. If you want to know more about funnel webs come up to the Reptile Park. We have venom extraction shows every single day um, and there's plenty of people here that can answer any questions about funnel webs you may have or other spiders in your yard.